God's anger. Colossians 3, 5 and 6. So put all evil things out of your life. These things make God angry. So many people don't understand God's anger. They confuse the anger of God with the anger of people. But the two are very different. People's anger is usually selfish. It shows itself in explosions of temper and violence. We get upset because we've been ignored, skipped over, or cheated. When we don't get what we want, we get mad. This is the anger of people. It is not, however, the anger of God. God doesn't get angry because he doesn't get his way. He gets angry because we disobey him. And he knows that by disobeying him, we will always end up getting hurt. After all, what kind of father sits by and watches his child hurt himself? Not God. So to grow in grace, think about someone who really, really, really needs your help. Picture it like someone learning to walk. Just like you follow them closely and you hold out your hand to help them. That's how God follows you and protects you.